PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. Now, in my opinion, PTSD is quite easy to overcome. It's quite easy to overcome. And I say that very carefully because knowing that there's different degrees of PTSD. You can have a little bit of PTSD, you can have a traumatic event from childhood, and that can, on some level, be traumatic for you. And it can have, it can make you tired, it can make you sick, it can make you weak, it can make you vulnerable to getting ill. Um, but then there's also the PTSD of, say, military veterans or people who've been through horrible accidents or um, you know, terrorist events and stuff like that. They, they're highly traumatized and they've got this continual loop of all the traumatic military or war experiences or, or um, you know, catastrophe experiences. It's a loop, it's like a movie of, of, of um, feelings and, and pictures just playing over and over in their head. And um, I, I remember working with an awesome veteran and he told me that whenever he smells petrol, it just reminds him of uh, you know a traumatic event when he was in the military. And so there's, there's triggers like that. But the reason why PTSD is quite easy, easy to fix is because if it's not fixing now, it's because it's part of that old medic healing paradigm, which I talked about, which is, you know, if you've got PTSD, you go see a psychologist or a counselor, and this is what they'll do. They'll listen to you, they'll counsel you, it, they'll go through a talking procedure. Now I'm generalizing because there are many um, therapists, psychologists, counselors who are getting more and more uh, advanced in terms of studying, understanding the unconscious mind. So those aside, but others, if you're going to sort of generally the, the average kind of kind of people in that in that profession, the average people or below average, they're going to talk to you and they're going to ask you about the experience if you've got PTSD from a traumatic military experience or whatever, and they're going to help you talk through the experience and and really the problem with that is that it's coming from a conscious mind perspective and the con the language of the conscious mind is words it's 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 la language and logic but the thing is your unconscious mind has preserved the, the the memory of that trauma in your unconscious mind to protect you from it, it ever happening again it was such a it was such a whole body a mental emotional physical trauma that your body that your unconscious mind has preserved it in order to protect you and to keep you away from anything like that ever happening to you in the future. The problem with that, this is what many people experiencing PTSD experience today, is that it's hard to hold down a job. It's hard to keep things stable in a relationship with your, your loved ones and your children. It's hard to get involved and communicate with others. Sometimes many people are really awesome at handling it and, and many struggle. And sometimes that's why there's the, uh, you know, the high numbers of suicide in, in, amongst the veterans in, in America and Australia and worldwide is because there's not if there was a, a, if there was a more effective healing paradigm for these veterans experiencing PTSD, we wouldn't have the high rates of suicide. Like in America, it was like one per hour, one every two hours, of these noble, mighty, you know, honourable veterans taking their own lives simply because they couldn't deal with the, the tra trauma from their past military experiences. But the thing is, it's easy. PTSD is very easy, and I'll actually send some videos. On the, you know, it's the it's it's not the same as working with me one to one and actually going specifically, but I'll I'll be posting some stuff about how you can, you can work on your PTSD yourself, um, using some techniques, and I've shared these with military veterans, and they they come back saying yes, it does work. So these guys haven't worked with me one to one, but they've been able to take these away and manage it themselves, and be able to take charge of their unconscious mind and their perception of that previous trauma and and be able to live awesome lives. Because understanding that these these military veterans, they're awesome people. You know, they're they're people of such mental and emotional resilience. They've just been through some really horrible experiences. And if you just give them the right tools, they'll they'll be able to do anything they want, rather than turning to drugs and and, and, and suicide and bad stuff like that. So this is Roger from the Healing Warrior program. You can hear you off now. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.